And I have trains passing here. I've already got into a location where I'm enjoying myself and seeing paddling locations that aren't the same way that I normally paddle. So it's uh, mid-September, it's actually past mid-September and here in Sweden normally it's uh, getting colder or even quite chilly but actually at this point I've been uh, sweating while setting up my kayak even if it's late afternoon. Uh, so <laughs> it's insane this year in terms of the warm weather we're having and when you have warm weather like this I mean the proper thing to do is to go out kayaking so that's what I'm gonna do. I am in Gnesta in another county near Stockholm in Sweden. This actually counts as part of my paddling in 100 cities project. I brought the Air Fusion Evo for this because I'm going to be paddling well 16, 17 kilometers or so. And I don't have a huge amount of time, so I want to be able to go at a little bit of speed. So I'm going to be navigating to find a small creek, go through that, then south on another lake, and then continue on to Vagnherad, which is another town in my paddling in 100 cities project so after today hopefully I am at 46 percent 46 out of 100 in the paddling in 100 cities project so uh, I've wanted to paddle here for a long time and today the weather is great I couldn't resist and there won't be that many days like this before full fall and winter set in so let's go out there and get some paddling on So I arrived from here, the commuter train. I actually had to change a few times to get here uh, because this is in another county uh, than Stockholm. But actually the commuter train traffic is connected. And the fact is that when you're paddling in Stockholm, you can see a lot of stuff with collective transport so you have a really wide stretch network of trains metro buses ferries trams and uh, for someone doing portable kayaking like this so having a kayak in a backpack and bringing that along that is actually really really advantageous because you can go to so many places and you can uh, ultimately go back from a completely different spot because there are so many connections so as long as you can get to land and get your kayak up and find uh, a bus station or a train station or whatever you'll be able to actually not have to go back to point A but you go from point A to point B so I could see more with a fast sea kayak but I wouldn't be able to go portably the way I can here
right, so I love myself a nice Greek paddle and a few of these old red houses here and that bridge already uh, made for kind of a new location and I have trains passing here so the fact is I've already got into a location where I'm enjoying myself and seeing paddling locations that aren't the same way that I normally paddle uh, so that's nice that's a win already but as I can see here the reeds are rather thick so I'm hoping that I won't reach a point where I can't get past the reeds of course those who know me know that I kind of enjoy reeds as a challenge so I'll be attempting to paddle through no matter what as long as I deem it safe but here you know uh, there could always be a spot where it could get tricky I don't think this is gonna be too tricky right here but I'm hoping it's not yeah this was easy but I'm hoping that there isn't a spot further down where I'm blocked somehow uh, right there there's a tree that has fallen down so you know this whole paddle is gonna be unpredictable let's see if I get past this one no issues here specifically but the fact that this is not more open tells me that maybe people don't go paddling here all that much and definitely not by motorboat as much so you know I'll see to which extent I can paddle fast here but this is supposed to be part of a canoe pedal route so uh, we'll see it should work one way or another and I've been out on some really difficult creek paddles where you would not really think that it would be possible to get through so uh, given the fact that this is actually listed as a canoe paddling pathway I think my chances are decent. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe in order to stay updated on new videos and help others find the information on this channel. Happy paddles!